Hey, it's Thursday morning. I'm Lena and uh, recording these power minutes in a morning run, which is a change for me. And so I'm still a little sleepy, but uh, excited to share God's word and reflect on these um, verses that I share with you every day, Monday to Friday in a one minute segment. And uh, Thursday today, we usually have a Facebook Live uh, Bible study, but uh, for the summer we've been off. So if you're looking for me there, that's why we've been AWOL. But uh, trying to work on some material for the fall. And so be praying for me if you think about it. All right. Today's power minute is called rely on God. Our verse is 2 Corinthians 1, 9. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death, but that was to make us rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. I like things to run smoothly, don't you? I don't like trials and obstacles as a general rule, but if I'm going to have to deal with a problem, it might as well be a fixable one. Yet God allows us to come across overwhelming and life-shaking trials from time to time, and he does it for a reason. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, Paul recounts a harrowing time in his Christian life. Things got so bad that Paul thought he was going to die. But Paul understood that what many of us do not. There's purpose in the trial. There's a reason for the pressure. God specializes in helping us overcome the impossible and loves it when we turn to him for help. Sadly, most of us don't turn to God until our circumstances become really impossible. Yet no matter when we do turn our faces to God and ask for help, he's waiting with open arms to help us. So stop trying to fix everything on your own. Look to Jesus and find all the help that you need to make it to the end. Think about this today. Have you ever been under such trying circumstances that you could do nothing about but pray? How did that affect your spiritual life? In many ways, I feel there right now. There's a couple of areas in my life that just feel a little out of reach. And that's a really good place to be because it puts you in a place where you can see God do what you and I cannot do. And if you're relying on God in those moments, praise God for it. Expect him to work mightily on your behalf. And if you are not relying on God trying to fix it, that's okay. Today's a new day. Let go. Get a journal. Write down. Tell God what it is that is on your mind. I find that when I write things down, I sort of offload them and give them over to the Lord. He already knows the problem, but it'll help you get some perspective. And remember that verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Those first 10 verses in 2 Corinthians are amazing and encouraging. So if you're looking for a place to read the Bible, spend some time there today and come back tomorrow for our last power minute of the week. All right?